Welcome back to another episode of the Acastus Night Asterius. I'm Bri the Builder, and in this one, um, I'm gonna be, I believe, finishing the weapons. So that should then lead us into uh, finishing all of the metallics on the knight himself, as well as getting into the armor pieces. So, that said, um, we do still need to finish, well I should say I, do still need to finish the weapons. So, with that said, um, the first thing I'm going to do is start with basically these interior coils uh, that to me, I, I, I guess, read as plasma coils. I don't know for sure that that's actually what they're supposed to be. Um, these outer pieces also feel like plasma coils from like standard plasma weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and paint them in a similar way. Um, well, almost kind of opposite. These I'm going to make the center of them is going to be very bright where the outer edge is going to be darker. Uh, and these, the interior kind of core of it will be darker and then there'll be the almost dry brush of the lighter, brighter color on top. Um, I don't think that these are going to be super noticeable, but with the covers on, it is still visible. So I don't know exactly how it's going to line up. I know it's going to be... like that. And then those pieces line up there. This is the opening toward the front. The amount of space in there is actually quite a bit when they're lit. So you see a lot of light coming through, but the coil itself is still quite obscured. Once it's much brighter, you will be able to see it. But again, you're not gonna be able to really pick out all the detail. So I won't need to get too crazy with the level of detail in there. Um, but if you've been watching at all, you know I'm gonna get a little crazy with the detail that's in there. Cause, well, that's just kind of who I am. So with all of that, uh, let's get to it. And yes, I am using a pretty much piece of garbage brush because it's just going to get beat up getting down into all of that. So yes, it is a junk brush, which means it's going to split and get all over other things that are nearby. Uh, but the cleanup will be relatively easy and I would still rather beat up this brush than anything else. I don't want to go slow.
I am hopeful that the black cloth in the background um, will make it so as I set this down in between what I'm doing, I don't actually scuff paint off and hopefully it helps my camera maintain focus on what actually matters. So uh, we'll see. So I'm just gonna add a bit of the dark purple now to the background of these basically, I don't know, uh, not sure what they would be, but they feel like they should be the same kind of background color as the plasma stuff. So, so I'm going to add that and then we're going to move on to adding some metallics.
All right, so I finished adding all of the light brass, um, the Rune Lord brass, and then went through and also cleaned up all the red cables uh, and all of the black around all of the Rune Lord brass. So now um, I'm going to add a little bit of that kind of plasma modeling effect into these lower, I guess, windows. Um, and then I'll be doing, I think I'm going to do the darker, the brass scorpion, uh, darker brass around the, the window, like framing there. Um, and then both of these weapons should be finished. Um, other than adding on the kind of side armor uh, and all of that, it'll have a little bit of lead belcher trim. So there's a small bit of trim around the edge. Uh, and then all of that will probably, I don't know once it's on there if it'll look right or not, but we'll see. Um, once that's on, it might, at least it will mirror these parts of these plasma coils. Um, get a little bit of that pink dry brush on them to bring a little bit of that glow in there. Uh, but that'll happen after all of those metallic edge pieces are painted. So, in order to get these basically done for now. Oh, oh, and the one other last thing I'll do um, is add... A, a red light on that side. I don't know that those are supposed to be lights, um, and it's not actually an LED, but I'm gonna paint that one red and that one will basically stay black and I'll do the frame around those, um, well, somehow, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll do the frame around those with just lead belcher to help them pop out a little bit more. Uh, but then the red and black on each side will help the end user, Mike, um, understand which side to plug the red and black cable into. So, all right, back to it. Well, I think, oh, there's a little bit of touch up to do on the black around those two little bottom purple pieces. And those are also going to have to get some gloss 
other than that, a uh, little gloss on those end lights, right? The black, the red, and the gray. Um, then, then these are done, and I'll do that off camera after everything else is nice and dry. Um, so these, I, I think both turned out really cool. They're gonna look really even far more exceptional once the washes are applied. Um, and that's gonna take a little bit before everything's cured to the point where I can throw the washes on. Um, at least, it, I mean, could go right away, but I'll probably end up doing all the washes together near the end after more stuff is painted. Um, but I do think that these these two weapons turned out exceptionally cool. Um, I, I really, really like that overall kind of feel of that color scheme. Um, they're really cool. Once the lighting is in there and that bright pink is showing up behind those kind of cages that that'll be behind, uh, it's going to be really cool looking. All right, so um, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.